Ben, the machine you've got to your right here, a very flexible um, turning machine, isn't it? Can you, can you explain? Oh, definitely. Th th this machine is ideal suited for one-off and short batch work. Um, the fact that we can run this manually or with FANUC and manual guide eye as well, it's a, a universal machine and it's, it's fantastic. And it comes under that again, that, that name, the Colchester name, which everybody, everybody knows, don't they? So they can expect a, uh, a certain level of quality with the machine. Oh, without a shadow of a doubt. I mean, in a, in a previous life, I unfortunately lost out um, some orders because of this very machine. Um, so now to represent it and sell it is, is fantastic. And it's, uh, the, the name itself just stands for quality. And what were the reasons for you losing out to this? Is it, is it because of what we've just said or, or in addition to that, is it for, for the other features that the machine I think all, technically? I think definitely for what we said, but also that we do a turret version and a C-axis version. Um, so you can do short batch work with some C-axis work on, which is fantastic. So you can mill on here as well. You yes. Can, you can do your, your cross flats and so forth. Exactly. Um, this particular one we see here has a FANUC control. What if, what if you're not necessarily into the FANUC and you wanted another option? You, you've got what we do. We do a machine that looks exactly the same, um, but it's called a multi-turn 2000. And that just offers you a Siemens control system for the people that are more familiar with, with Siemens. But with this FANUC, you have the manual guide eye, which allows you to be conventional uh, in that respect as well. Uh, my, my question would be, when you start um, adding those features to this machine, for example a C-axis and a turret, you'll start, I assume, increasing the price and then you might start getting close to a, a slant bed lathe. Wouldn't that then be favourable over this? Or You would think so, um, and given the marketplace is, is quite crowded with um, c traditional slant bed CNCs and the prices are competitive, this machine allows you to do the ones and twos off, whereas your traditional slant bed is not really set up in that way. Um, so this is a very flexible machine and I very popular. I suppose getting in the machine is a bit easier, isn't it? Taking parts out, putting parts in, get definitely the, and, uh, reducing that, that sort of downtime. Exactly, accessibility into the machine uh, and the, the way the, the way the operates, the feedback is that they just love the ability to, to run it manually or through CNC. And now you don't have to take the part off and go and take it on a milling machine, which again is a is a massive exactly. advantage, isn't it? Exactly. Um, what's the promotion that you're doing on this at the moment, Ben? Again, at the minute, we're offering a minimum of £1,500 if you've got a Colchester or Harrison lathe. Any condition, even older than me at 40 years of age, we will give you a minimum of 1500 quid. And actually, on that point, not your age, but on the machine, I would be imagining that there might be companies out there that, that want to step up a little bit into, into newer technologies and newer ways of doing things. This, yeah. this is a, a perfect um, route forward, isn't it? I, this is fantastic. I mean, there's a lot of operators out there that have not experienced CNC. So when they see this machine, they know that they can use it in a conventional manner, but also uh, with training and guidance, they can then get their first experience of CNC machining and feel very comfortable with it. It's certainly not intimidating.